Hey everybody, what is going on? This is... Uh... Wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, what... What the... Hey, why am I a pony again? Wait... What am I reviewing today? <laughs> oh, that makes more sense. So... Since I'll be talking about My Little Pony, Pony Life, I guess it makes sense that I revert back to my, uh, Pony Zona? Is that what they call it? I don't know. Anyway, I've been wanting to talk about this show for a while, but things have been kind of, uh, confusing. First, there was an announcement, supposedly, about episodes beginning to air on TV, and in the month of June. That never really happened. And then later on, we started getting little promo vids dedicated to each of the main six. We got more of what the show was going to be like, how it looks, and it's definitely going for more of a chibi vibe, if anything else. I still remember the first announcement video where it was showcasing the new toys, but we also got to see how the characters were animated in this new design. I still can't get over the fact that the video involved the characters singing to Good As Hell by Lizzo. Yes, the animators actually animated the characters singing the words Good As Hell. I don't know about you, but that was hilarious and I loved every second of it. Now, episodes of the series have been leaked online and I believe it's eight or nine episodes. I only saw three for the sole purpose of making this video. Let me start off by saying that the show is okay. It's not as terrible as some of the bronies have been saying it is. I figured it wouldn't be. It's definitely different than what you're used to, but it's still somewhat enjoyable at least from what I've seen. So let's quickly go over some of the episodes that I have seen. The first one being Princess Probs. In this episode, we see Pinkie Pie practicing some bacon to be a part of a cooking show. Her friends are worried that she'll mess up, so they keep trying to change the way she does things so she can make the cut. So this episode was interesting. It was definitely hyper, but maybe that was because it was about Pinkie Pie, I guess? I found it to be a little too hyper for me, so it wasn't really my favorite. Not that I didn't like it, it, it just was a little too much for me. It was here when I knew that this was going to be a show for a younger audience. It definitely had that sort of feel to it. And also, it was that moment when I realized that it was more of an episodic show than it was a story-based series which is not a bad thing at all. So the next episode was called The Best of the Worst. In this episode, Rainbow Dash meets this pony who's the best at being the worst. So he challenges her to see who could be the worst, but she struggles with not being the best. Kind of a silly premise, but still enjoyable either way. Because of her competitive spirit, she couldn't turn down a challenge, and no matter how much she tried being the worst, she just couldn't go any lower. In some ways, it was kind of funny, especially when you see the kind of guy he is. Like, who brags about being the worst? Like, come on. Also, it's pretty funny how his name apparently is, um, <clears throat> Dishwasher Slog. Now, the next episode I saw isn't actually the third episode of the series, since the others were the first two. This one is called Cupocalypse Meow. Fluttershy befriends a cat who seems pretty cute, but his personality is anything but cute. He often makes pretty mean comments about others, but he uses his cuteness to often keep Fluttershy around. First off, I, I just have to ask, since when did Fluttershy have the ability to shrink? That was a little confusing to me when I saw it, but it definitely didn't bother me. It was just a little confused. The reason why Fluttershy friended this cat was mainly because she wanted to show the others that she did have a dark sense of humor, and he also ended up having somewhat of a dark sense of humor. That unfortunately backfired because my God, was he an unlikable character. Like, I'm not kidding, I hated him. Something happens to him at the end of the episode, which I will not spoil for you, and it <laughs> made me pretty happy. Overall, not a bad episode. It did manage to make me chuckle a little bit, and there was a nice lesson to be thrown in there, along with the other two. And also, again, the ending was so satisfying to me. Now, as I said before, this is definitely geared towards a younger audience. I mean, well, so was Friendship is Magic, so this 
isn't really new. This isn't to say that older people can't enjoy the show, however, they clearly did make this show to appeal to the younger kids. It's kind of evident in the way it looks and the way some of the characters talk now. Hell, they even have tablets and smartphones in the show. I don't think any of the choices I've seen them make in the show are cringeworthy to me personally. It does still have lessons that kids can learn from the episodes like being yourself or don't try to be someone you're not or if someone is mean to your friend, stand up to them and all that kind of stuff. It still centers mainly around friendship, so all in all, for me, the show is alright. Not the best, but certainly not the worst. I can appreciate it for what it is and still find something enjoyable about it. It's innocent enough to not be as offensive as everyone else has been saying. Bronies are not a fan of this. or. At least some bronies aren't. I mean, I, I I have seen some of them that say that they like it and think it's okay and they don't mind it and whatnot, but for the bronies that don't like it, one of the biggest complaints I've seen from them, and this is kind of typical for a lot of cartoons nowadays I've noticed, is that this is like the MLP version of Teen Titans Go. This is nothing like that. Yes, the show is more comedic than its predecessor, it is animated very differently and whatever, but it certainly does not butcher the characters. Yes, they may be slightly different, but they're practically the same. Same personalities, same morals, maybe a little exaggerated for comedic purposes. Teen Titans Go completely just ruins each character, including Raven. Plus, Pony Life doesn't resort to poop jokes or making everyone completely stupid, so trust me, it is not even close. Another thing I've heard some people complain about, which in my opinion is completely stupid, is that the show has no story. I'm not saying it's bad that you don't like the show, I mean I get it, it's very different from the previous one and you guys hold that show very near and dear to you. Pony life is not going to be for everyone, so I get that. But when I see some of these people get kind of angry or pissed about how it's not like FIM, I just can't help but find that pretty pathetic. It's just a fun little innocent filler show until the next main show comes along. I think that's really the main purpose of it if anything else. Still gives the kids some My Little Pony content until the other show is ready. They've done that before, so I guess that makes sense. Although Pony Life can be a bit more hyper and a little more focused on comedy, it's still somewhat enjoyable to me. It's a harmless show and I'm sure kids will like it. If you're looking for a fun, cute little show, I think you can check the show out. I would give it about eh, maybe a C rating, if anything else. Well, that's my review on Pony Life. What do you guys think of the new show? Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe for even more content, and hit the bell to be notified on my next video. And hopefully, I will not be a pony in the next video either. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, you're hearing it from a regular bunny- Uh, a regular pony <laughs> in a regular world. It's been a while since I've said that. See you next time.